What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Mm-mm, baby child, I was on the Jasmine friend, minding my business, being nosy, and I come across the fact that the rapper Fabulous has been canceled. Well, more like his performance at the Georgetown University has been canceled because of uh, his trouble past. Now, even though the rumors have been swirling for years and years about Fabulous um, putting his hands on Emily B, I don't think I've ever heard of any of his performances being canceled. So the timing seems very weird because of him and Emily B getting dragged on social media yesterday because of the fact that she's still with him after he's done so much to her, allegedly, and the fact that she allegedly got another Brazilian butt lift. Now, I'll get to all that in a minute, of course, but let me read y'all the article about him getting kicked off the Georgetown University show. It says, Fabulous, Georgetown University counsels his performance because of his history with DV. An upcoming performance by Fabulous has been axed by Washington, D.C. University. Georgetown University student activists caused a major uproar about Fabulous performing at the school's Hoya Madness event, causing the university to pull the invite. A number of students took issue with Fabulous' history with having a hard time keeping his hands to himself when he's dealing with Emily B. The rapper was charged just last year after an incident between him and his longtime girlfriend, Emily B., who he just started claiming. But in who he was accused of putting his hands on Emily B multiple times and getting rid of her two front teeth. Fabulous pleaded guilty to harassing Emily B and her daddy and charges were ultimately dropped on the condition that he enrolled in a pre-trial intervention program and kept up his good behavior. He didn't have to take part in therapy or anger management in the deal. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. The article goes on to say he and Emily B are still going strong. And we'll get to that in a minute. But that wasn't enough for some students to accept him coming to their school. The university announced Fabulous' appearance Sunday, October the 6th, and students launched a petition in response. We strongly urge Georgetown to reconsider the message it sends students in booking an act who has a history of keeping his hands to himself. Georgetown Athletics counseled Fabulous' performance to condemn his past behavior and maintain the Hoya family as a welcoming and safe space for all. Mm -mm. So basically, summing that article up, they're saying that Fabulous was invited to do the show. Then a lot of students got upset and basically wanted him canceled. And pretty much everybody agreed, so they canceled him from doing the show. Now I'll make a point about that a little later on in the video during my sweet talk on the situation. All right, baby child, so let's get right on into the missing. It's missing, 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 missing. And y'all already know that's just the way Okay, so about a week ago, Fabulous got dragged because he wrote a heartfelt post to Emily B's daughter's rapper boyfriend, G Herbo. And after I read the Instagram post, y'all will understand what set people off so much about what he had to say. The post says, happy G-Day to a real one, no limit Herbo, you know I've been sitting back to see what kind of dude Emily B's daughter leaked up with. But your energy is genuine every trip. You've been solid in every situation and you make her happy through it all. Own bro, gotta celebrate life for you. Now, if you have an advanced degree in those ratchetology like I do myself, then y'all know I had to backflip on down in the comments to see what everybody had to say. And trust me, when I got down there, I was not disappointed. Basically, everybody was going off on Fabulous saying, how in the world can you try to judge how somebody is treating Emily B's daughter when you've been treating her mama, Emily B, like trash for years and years and years? One person say, child please, they both lay hands on women. Another person says, didn't both of them lay hands on their, let me go, lol, yeah, because he's obviously an expert on how a woman should be treated. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. So, of course, the shady and the messy, this goes on and on. Another person says, they both lay hands on women, so the bar is low. It is low, baby child, it is low. And another person says, Febo is the last one that should be judging anyone's relationship, lol. Who asked for his approval? Then another person goes on and says, took him 15 years to stamp Emily. That's my dog, though. Everybody get paragraphs except Emily, huh? Fab fixed her teeth, and she still won't smile. Messy, 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 messy. And y'all already know that's just the way but guess what, baby child? That still ain't all. So yesterday, Fabulous posted a picture of him and Emily B together. Hugged up, baby child. Hugged up. 
The caption says, friends say you getting thick, that's just happy weight. We let y'all cap and hate while we just captivate. So I again, Roger Rabbit's on down in the comments to see what everybody had to say. And of course, they were being messy like they usually do. And one person says, sweetie, no one is amused. And then another person says, she is a whole clown. I'm still messed up over the fact she stayed with a man that knocked her teeth out. What kind of message is that sending to your daughter? Until he swings, left him opportunity off. Let's go, I'll start. Then another person says, yikes, we're not hating sis, we're concerned. But go ahead with your domestic mm, love story. Then another person says, she never smiling. I know Emily hates it there low key. Bye, we will never forgive you fab. Child ain't letting up on him not now a little bit. And baby child, of course, as y'all can see, the comments go on and on and on. So if y'all have an advanced degree in those ratchetology like I do myself, then maybe y'all have started wondering if the backlash that Fabulous and Emily have been receiving for about a week is the reason that his performance was canceled at the college. Mm-mm. Think about it, baby child. Think about it. All right, baby child. So this is my sweet talk on the Emily B. and Fabulous situation with the college canceling his show. I'm just going to say this really quickly about the college. The college has every right to cancel the show if they wanted to. All I ask for all these venues and these colleges and all these places to have the same energy when it comes to different types of performers. And we're going to leave that at that. Okay, so the next point I want to bring up on my sweet talk on Fabulous is this might kind of hinder his career. Because, you know, it only takes one to basically start like a, a ripple effect. You know, it, it only takes one person to, to speak out. And this just might be the end of his career because y'all know how fast things go when somebody does something that people do not like. And again, they have every right to cancel his show and not want him to be invited to their property, to be invited to their college, to be invited to what they believe is like a um, what represents them as a college. You know what I'm saying? So if they don't want to invite him, that's up to them. Like I said, again, just keep the energy. Okay, now let's move on to the situation with Emily B taking him back again and again and again, especially after this last time when it alleged that he um, took her two front teeth. Now, I can be honest to say this is a very touchy subject for myself. So before I start, I want to encourage anyone in a similar situation to grab your churn, grab your clothes, grab your goldfish, grab whatever you need to and leave this situation. These situations hardly ever work out. Now that I said that, the reason this situation is touching for me is because it's familiar. I won't go into details, but I will say it's not as easy to leave as some people want you to think. Now don't rip my head off, just listen to me, especially when there are kids involved, especially when there's money involved. And these might be some of the reason Emily B is staying. Both men and women get trapped up in these abusive relationships because of love, but end up staying because of more complicated reasons. I want to make it clear I'm not making excuses for the abusers, but I am making it clear that I can relate. Even if the physical does stop, the mental abuse will always be there. Trust me, I know. They threaten you. They threaten your family. They threaten your kids. Where will you go? Where will you live? How will you have money to survive? By the time you try and get that all figured out, another two, three, four, five, six years has passed and so on and so on. Basically, I don't think Emily or anyone else should be ridiculed because we don't know what's being held over her. Her head to make her stay listen to me now i don't think emily or anyone else should be ridiculed because we don't know what's been held over their head to make them stay behind closed doors and baby child i'm just gonna leave that at that if this is your situation get away and stay away they don't love you they love having a steady supply of someone to treat like a dog and on that i'm going to end this sweet talk Thank y'all for listening and tell me how y'all feel about it down in the comments, okay? Mm-mm. Well, y'all know I mind's my business and I'm gonna do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about these situations down in the comments. Was the college wrong for canceling Fabulous show? Or did they do the right thing? Is Emily B wrong for going back to Fabulous after all the alleged things he's done to her in the past? Is Fabulous wrong for doing all the alleged things that he's done to Emily in the past? And do y'all think it's wrong that after all these years, he's finally... Finally, finally claiming Emily as his actual girlfriend after all these years of actually being on TV with her, 
she said his children she's uh dressed him she's been to his shows you know supporting him do y'all think it's wrong that he's now in the year of our lord 2019 finally claiming her and as far as my sweet talk on this very very messy situation goes tell me if y'all agree or disagree with what i had to say on the situation basically a sweet talk is me telling y'all my opinion i'll give y'all the juice at the beginning of the video the straight facts and then with the sweet talk i'll give y'all my opinion on these messy situations just tell me down in the comments because i know y'all gonna have a lot to say about this one and what i had to say but it is what it is baby child it is what it is y'all know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm saying moving on well i'm definitely gonna need you guys opinions in this situation because y'all know i don't get to other people's business like that well we're about to be out of here but before we go we want you guys to leave us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around and don't be shy leave us your opinions in the comments good bad or indifferent i love them all and with that being said you guys we are out of here